the professional ballet schools, so we like our students to have a neat, clean bun when they are in class. To start out, you're going to want to use water, lightly spray the hair, and then you want to comb out any tangles or brush. Once the hair is free of tangles, you're going to want to start a ponytail. The ponytail needs to be at the crown of the head, which if you take your comb or your brush, you kind of visualize from the chin at an angle up, that's kind of where you want the ponytail to sit. Once you've got all the hair together, you're going to take an elastic. You might want to use two hair elastics uh, for extra strength. Once you've got the ponytail sitting on the crown of the head, you can uh, go back and spray with some more water to smooth it out. You can also use hair gel at this point. That's completely optional. And if you want to take just a little bit of hair gel, it's not take very much at all, rub that in between your hands and then use that to kind of smooth back. Once you've done that, you're going to want to actually start your bun. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise, whichever is more comfortable for you. Um, I am right-handed, so personally clockwise works for me. You're going to start twisting the hair, and then you're going to wrap it around the ponytail holder, keeping it flat against the head as you go. We're going to use just a few pins right now, and then I'll show you how to finish the pins with the hairnet. I'm just going to put four pins in to get it started before the net. You see how I'm keeping it flat against her head. And then you're going to get your hair net. You want your hair net to be the same color as this hair so it looks invisible. And you want to use a bun hair net as opposed to a full hair net so that there's not a lot of excess. And this will help cover all those hairs that are sticking out of place. You're going to put it over the bun and then turn it and twist it. I am using U-pins right now. You're gonna take the U-pin and you're going to put it in one direction, straight down, and then you're gonna pull it back and push it back up into the bun. The easy thing to remember is if you wanna put it at each number of the clock as you go around, Putting it straight down and then pulling it back and pushing it in. 12 pins is not too many, believe it or not. This will help keep it secured when they're in class dancing and jumping. So we're going to go all the way around the clock with the pins. You're going to take your comb and kind of make sure this is all nice and neat. This is where you can use a bobby pin to secure those loose ends. This is the bobby pin as opposed to the U-pin. You want the bumpy edge to go up against the scalp and the flat edge is what's going to stay facing you. I'm going to pull it up and we're going to put a bobby pin in to secure that loose hair. And you can do this anywhere around the head that you feel like it needs to be a little more secure. And once you have everything secured, you can finish it off with a little bit of hairspray, or you can just leave it the way it is. And now Anna is ready for class.